With one trigger button, one coin return button, and one coin return slot complete, we can use Maya's duplication tools to create the rest of the smaller components for this prop. Copying objects in Maya is very simple. We just select the source object or set of objects, then go to the main menu and choose Edit, Duplicate, or Control-D on the keyboard. We'll duplicate one of the coin return slots first, then move it into the correct position. In order to achieve perfect symmetry, we'll take a look at the positive x translation value of our original coin return element, then enter the same value into the channel box as a negative number for the duplicate object. Next, I'll duplicate the coin return button. Since the coin return buttons and slots are vertically aligned, I could enter the same negative x value I used for the slot to reposition this duplicate button. But another useful option would be to take advantage of Maya's snapping tools so that I don't need to continually enter information into the channel box. By holding down the X key while using the Move tool, Maya snaps the selected object to the nearest grid space. Unfortunately, with the prop modeled at its current size, the grid spacing in this scene is too big for snapping to be of much use. But I can edit the grid spacing by going to the main menu, choosing Display, finding the Grid menu item, and clicking on the box to the right of the item. For all menu commands, this box indicates that options are available. I'll click on the box to bring up the grid option menu. By increasing the number of grid subdivisions from 5 to 50, we'll have enough grid detail to take advantage of the snapping option. I'll click Apply and Close, and now I can easily align all of the coin return elements by dragging them into position while holding down the X key. Maya has other useful snapping options as well. For example, holding down the V key while moving an object will cause the selected object to snap to the nearest vertex in the scene. But for our purposes, grid snapping will work just fine. These snapping tools make it really easy to precisely position or align objects without having to type numbers into the channel box. This prop requires six main game buttons organized into pairs. To make sure that the spacing is consistent for these button pairs, we'll use a more advanced duplication method called Duplicate Special. With one button and its rim selected, we'll go to Edit Duplicate Special and click on the box to the right of the menu item to bring up the Options window. Duplicate Special allows us to create multiple duplicates and automatically adjust the relative translation, rotation, and scale value of each copy. My first button was created on the right side of the game cabinet with an X value of about 0.2, so I'm going to adjust my Duplicate Special options to create a copy that's symmetrically placed on the left side of the cabinet at negative 0.2. To do this, I'll enter an X translation value of negative 0.4 and click on the Apply button. You can see that a new button was created and moved 0.4 units to the left so that both buttons are symmetrically placed. I'll leave the Duplicate Special Options window open because as I create additional buttons, I'll want to maintain this consistent spacing of the button pairs. I'll duplicate the middle right button just using the basic duplicate tool, again hitting Control D on the keyboard, and match the position of the far right button shown in the reference image. I'll hold down the X key again as I position this button so that its placement is more precise. Then, I'll return to the Duplicate Special Options window and click on the Apply button again to complete another pair of buttons with identical spacing to my first pair. If I needed to create a whole row of buttons with this spacing, I could easily do it by simply increasing the number of copies shown in the Duplicate Special Options window and choosing Apply. But in this case, I just need button pairs, so I'll remove those extra buttons by either typing Z to undo or by selecting the unwanted objects and deleting them by typing on the Backspace button or the Delete key. To create the final button pair, we'll select the lower button on the inner right side, hit Control D to duplicate it, translate the button along the X axis while holding down the X key to make use of grid snapping, and finally we'll go back to our Duplicate Special window and hit Apply once again to complete the last button pair. With these small and simpler modeling details out of the way, we can move on to creating the larger shapes for this asset.